Hey love, so it's your girl April and it's time for another hair review. This one is going to be a simple unit that I'm going to create. I have not made a U-part unit for myself in like ages. I just kind of got caught up in the whole closure thing and I'm going to be honest and tell you, closure is easier but a U-part is just as easy especially when it's like 113 degrees outside in Arizona. So I really try to actually leave my hair out or allow my scalp to breathe as much as possible. This time around I decided decided to try out a new hair company which is called Priority Hair and Boutique and I'll post all the information for you guys below. I got something simple. I didn't want it so long because I try to transition back and forth and sometimes long hair is not too boring but it's really just kind of the same for me. I was really impressed with the wavy Kim K bob that I made into an actual full closure wig but being that it's kind of hot and I'm wearing like clip-ins just so my head can breathe. I decided this time around, I'm going to make it into a U-part with some chocolatey brown highlights in the actual hair. So with the hair that I received, it's Priority Hair and Boutique. I got their um, Virgin Brazilian Body Wave and I got it in shorter lengths. So I have a 18, a 14, and a 16. So it was really supposed to be two 16s because I really didn't want to waste too much hair to cut it but I decided to just go ahead with the 18 and just see how it comes out but I will be cutting it into kind of like that same style which will fall right about here like kind of shoulder length so unfortunately I will have to take some length off. This is their body wave and this is virgin hair and it does smell really clean I will say that I was impressed with the smell but when I get hair I do look at the ends a lot because that's where I can tell if the hair is kind of like crappy or just like not that great or that I'm going to need more than the amount of bundles that I'm going to need because the hair is thin at the ends. So this one, the ends are actually very full. It doesn't get skimpy at the bottom. It actually stays really full, which I know I'm going to make a nice unit out of. As for the bearding in this particular um, bundle right here, it's just your average size bearding. It is double wefted tracks. So a lot of people are like body wave, body wave, body wave, body wave. Yeah, Body Wave is like a very popular texture for any type of hair. You can do loads of things with it. You can curl it. You can straighten it. You can flat iron it. You can wear it straight. You can do like a lot of different things with Body Wave. So me for one, I prefer Body Wave versus straight because with straight, it just takes a lot more manipulation when you're curling it. It just takes a lot more work. But with Body Wave, it's less time and effort when you're curling it. So I prefer Body Wave. But I do have a couple of units that are actually straight and I wear those only when I want like that sleek straight I'm not really doing anything with the hair look so and I do go for those as well all the ends so. on the bundles are really healthy they are really thick ends this one especially seems like it's like the thickest ends out of all of them which is good this is the 14 inch so I didn't need a lot of bundles because the hair is short or the, the tracks are rather short especially with the 14 inch so it's just going to be like a body wave I didn't want it too full and I'm going to make it into a U part so that is what I'm going to be doing with this and I'm also going to be giving it like some chocolatey kind of like highlights opposed to it just being a dark color like my other bob. I also okay ladies so let's get this going I'm going to cut the hair first before I even bleach it because I really don't have a lot of developer left so why waste developer on hair that's going to be cut so I decided to go ahead and cut it I'm just going to wing it and basically layer it as I go I wanted it in a kind of like mid length or shoulder length bob just kind of like the one that I created prior which was just a solid color and it was on a with the closure I wanted to make a U part out of this now I went ahead and just cut most of it um, some of it off camera I didn't want to do the entire thing with you guys because we'd be here for a minute but yeah the hair is really nice it's thick hair at the ends which I'm really really impressed with uh, because I did have my doubts about it at first to be honest but it really is nice hair so I'm just gonna go ahead and layer it and style it and this is the length that I wanted it and now on to the processing I'm gonna be using my salon pro um, Oh, geez, geez. I'll put the name of it at the bottom for seam lights and this is in the color violet along with the 20 developer by salon pro I did have 30 but I really didn't have a lot of it it's not enough for this so I decided to use the 20 I never use 20 I only use my 20 developer for a toner so yeah so I went ahead and put three scoops of powder and six scoops of the developer so I always put two equal um, two parts to one per scoop 
and I'm gonna go ahead and brush the hair out you want to make sure that you brush the hair out really well I have a plastic garbage bag laying flat on my counter space in my bathroom here and I'm just gonna go ahead and start at the bottom I don't want the color to you know like change into or go from darker to lighter I want it to be basically one solid color at the bottom but kind of like with a gradient effect I don't want any lines of demarcation so I'm gonna go ahead and just paint the dye or the bleach rather onto this hair um, and it's really really important to me that I make sure that I saturate all the way through so the next thing and the next step to me that I like to do is I like to comb it through just to make sure that all of the hair gets the actual bleach you don't have any blotchy spots and then I'll go back over it again with the actual bleach and comb through again the 20 developer is a lot easier I've noticed than the 40 the 40 developer just just processes so fast so you really have to go quickly at it now this is like the third layer and the hair is already changing I like to use my fingers to kind of like make sure there's no lines of demarcation on the unit and then I'm going to go ahead and flip it over it's basically the same process that I did on the front portion I'm going to go ahead and paint it on and make sure that it gets into the strands as well as that as I will make sure that I'm combing through and now once I'm done with the bleaching process I'm going to go ahead and take that plastic bag along with some saran wrap and I'm going to go ahead and cover it I decided not to use luminal foil I really actually don't use luminal full anymore for my units. So she is actually all done and I just create my wigs or not all of my wigs but my U parts on adjustable deluxe weaving cap or wig cap so it's like a neck cap but it has um, adjustable straps on it it has little ear tabs but this brand that I actually bought was really small so anyway I love the way the color came out unfortunately it's not really that kind of like brownish orangey or brownish color off camera it's more of a golden tone so yeah the picture is on Instagram that you um, you can check it out but I do like the hair I didn't have to really do anything to it I didn't curl it. The only portion of my hair that I curled was actually my own leave out. This is actually a body wave. Like it came back body wave banging. Okay, love. So I finally finished this unit by Priority Hair and Boutique and I actually like it a lot. This is a cute bob. Let me tell you guys, the only, you see me, I only didn't curl, I really didn't curl that much to it. It came after I washed it and stuff. Those curls that I showed you in the beginning of the video, the hair when I showed it to you, that's how the waves were in it. So I didn't have to do anything. So this is like a real body wave. Normally the body waves that I get are like, but well, where's the body and where's the wave? Okay, so this one had a lot of body wave into it. I didn't have to do anything to it, which I'm really happy about because I told you guys before, I hate to curl hair. But yeah, the hair curled so pretty. I like the waves in it. No work at all. I haven't worn like a U part in like forever. So I'm feeling it right now because it's super hot outside and I just don't feel like burning up to death in Arizona. That's not on my agenda for any day. But I really do like her hair. Um, Priority Hair Boutique. Um, really nice hair. This was some nice hair. First off, I was kind of skeptical about it. Like, hmm, I don't know. This is like AliExpress hair, AliExpress hair. This is what I was thinking at first, but then it turned out to be something different. Um, you know, and especially when it came to bleaching and bleaching the whole process and just the way it curled back up. Whole new difference experience. So yeah, I really, really do like the hair a lot. So yeah. So, you can check out their page. I will post it for you guys below. Let me know what you think of this unit, my loose wavy bob. Really, really cute and summer-like and ombre to death. Yeah, I like this color a lot. I really, really do. I do like the color. Really pretty hair. Like, it's really nice. Hmm. So, anyway, so yeah, so... Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. All the information will be posted for you guys below. So yeah, so make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs this video up. And if you're interested in a pre-made unit or a unit made by me, you can always check out my website, gonewiththewindwigs.webly.com. And I'll post that information for you guys below as well. And as always, stay diva and divalicious. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Babies.